Hey, this is Artifacts of Mars, and you may not realize that apparently, according to this article, we're actually sending targeted messages to solar systems between 20 and 30 light years away, attempting to contact ET. While many people look at stars, they see a vast unbound Infinity, it fills them with feeling that's difficult to describe, but impossible to forget. That feeling pushes humanity to want to explore the great unknowns of space in hopes of discovering we aren't alone in it. Let's assume for one moment that ET life does exist. Should we really be trying to contact it? Well, we already are. We're sending out radio signals in space for how long now? Some view the idea of reaching out to E.T. as dangerous. In fact, Stephen Hawking made a strong point against the idea of making contact by comparing it to the Indians' first encounter with Christopher Columbus and European explorers. The situation didn't turn out so well for the former civilization. Now, well, first of all, we know now that was not first contact with the Indians. Hawking went on to note that an advanced alien life could be vastly more powerful and might not see us as any more valuable than we see bacteria. While that does sound like it could be a possibility, not everybody agrees with Hawking. In fact, some have equally convincing arguments in support of contact with aliens. Nothing to lose. With some, the question is no-brainer. Why wouldn't we want to meet other intelligent life forms? That's the thought shared by people at SETI. Back SETI is now far more proactive in the search for alien life than ever before. Initially, the organization focused on passively looking for signals indicating signs of intelligent life, but now it's taking action in the form of many messaging extraterrestrial intelligence. Many International sends greetings to specific locations in space in hopes of alerting alien astronomers of our existence. How lovely. Though Hawking and others worry that our interstellar friendship search will lead to the annihilation or subjugation of our species of a, as a whole, Douglas Velrock, president of Medi International and a professor of in the Department of Clinical Psychology at California Institute for Integral Studies, good lord, strongly disagrees with this assertion. He believes that claims that we should hide our existence as a species are unfounded. After all, we've already leaked nearly 100 years of transmissions from radio and television broadcasts as electromagnetic radiation. I agree with him partially. Uh, the problem is, this is a targeted greeting saying, Hello, you going to answer us back now? So it might be a little different. Well, Vekak moves on to note an inconsistency in Hawking's reasoning. He asserts that any civilizations able to travel between stars will, be, will absolutely have the ability to pick up up our leaked signals, by that logic we must already be aware of, they must already be aware of our existence and are simply waiting for us to make the first move. And why would we? Why would they wait? Bellock, Bellock urges us to test the zoo hypothesis and the Fermi paradox through standard peer-to-peer peer-review methods assisting that we target nearby star systems 20 or 30 light years away with repeat messages to generate a testable hypothesis within a few decades. Well, let's take a look at METI. So I don't know, that 20 or 30 light years away is that guy's idea. We'll take a look at METI. Alright, here's METI. METI.org 
conduct primary objectives and purposes of Medi International are conduct scientific research and educational programs into messaging ET and search for ET intelligence. Promote international cooperation and collaboration in Medi, study and astrobiology. Understand and communicate societal implications and relevance of searching for life beyond Earth even before detection of ET life. Foster multidisciplinary research on design and transmission of interstellar messages, building a global community of scholars through from natural science, sciences, science, social sciences, humanities, and art. And it goes on and on. Uh, boy, I'm caught between uh, two stars here. On the one hand, I'd love to have official contact with E.T. On the other hand, I tend to think that we've already had it. But, assuming I'm wrong, and assuming that what we call aliens are much more bellicose than what we've expected in the past, this might not be such a great thing. Uh, I'm gonna sit on the fence on this one. <laughs> Nothing else I knew anyway. A lot of us will probably be dead of old age before we ever get an answer. Unless you have this uh, science fiction scenario where the spaceships come down it turns out they're uh, eight foot cannibals, like uh, cures of cancer and fat fatness often take us to their planet to be eaten. Other than that, unless that type of scenario happens, I'm not going to worry about it. I tend to think we've already had contact, though. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.